One of the wonderful things about having a small house museum is that there's often a wide array of items in the collection. Many mysterious and wonderful things that people don't even know about that are in uh, the collection. Imagine if your family lived in a home for three generations and then decided to donate it to create a state park. There's going to be some weird things left behind that not necessarily you had a chance to explain the story of. And the same thing is true here at Auburn Heights. There's many unique things that we don't put on display or that are sort of hidden that have interesting little stories behind them. So in this Behind Closed Doors video, we're going to take a little walk around the house and take a look at some of the hidden things that most people don't get to see at Auburn Heights. So come and join me on this little walkthrough today. Here we are in the North bedroom. This served as Tom's playroom when he was a young man, and today serves as the bridal suite for weddings at Auburn Heights. Even in here, we have a little hidden secret. Like over here, we have what appears to be just a normal table. Actually, is a hidden phonograph. So we're gonna take a look at this. that you'd expect to find in a small house museum like Auburn Heights is a slice of wedding cake inside a cupboard like the one I'm next to. But that is exactly what is in here. Inside here, in a small Kellogg's tin that once time held ginger, holds a small slice of Esther and Clarence Marshall's wedding cake from 1921. And you can see it for yourself right here. We are in the basement of Auburn Heights and currently down here with the collections and different things that have been inventoried here. Many of them are unique and interesting from different centuries and different decades and contain unique stories. But perhaps one of the most surprising things that we have found down here in the Auburn Heights collection is something you would not expect to find in a Victorian mansion. Perhaps one of the and most that... interesting and surprising things that we found down here was actually an original production cell from Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Take a look at it. Clarence's we know that the Marshalls would oftentimes do tour bus trips inside some of their cars uh, across the country, and perhaps in one of their adventures, they picked up this production cell. Okay. Here we are in the parlor at Auburn Heights, and there's many wonderful things in here that our visitors get to see. But one of the things that people often don't get to see 
the books that we have on display and tucked away in bookcases. And here on this desk here, we have a very special gift that was given to Clarence Marshall, Tom's father, by Mr. DuPont when he attended one of the family trap shooting tournaments. So let's take a look at that book right here. Let's be honest, there's so much here at Auburn Heights that we could talk about and show you as a behind the scenes peek at things in the cabinets and drawers. And I hope you've enjoyed the few items that we got to show you today and that you wanna come back for a further tour so you can explore the mansion in your own time and take a look at the things on the shelves with perhaps a more scrutinizing eye than people do generally on a house tour. But any old house, any old Victorian house tour wouldn't be complete, of course, with secret compartments. And I'm happy to say, yes, we have those two.